Cartoon Obsession. Hello everybody, my name is Nathan, and I am the man with a cartoon obsession. Before we get started, I just wanted to say that I'll be doing more obscure reviews coming up in November. Like last time, what I'll be reviewing will be voted on by the viewers. The polls for both the obscure anime and obscure cartoon reviews will be in the description below. This will be the last video I mention that in, and stay tuned to my social media pages or join the Discord because that's where I'll be announcing the winners. Now on to today's topic. I've made it known before that I'm not the biggest fan of Halloween, and I know I've mentioned this before too, but I'm also not the biggest horror fan. That being said, I do still enjoy Halloween cartoons and specials, as well as spooky episodes and some horror anime. Therefore, that will be the theme of my videos for the month of October. I couldn't think of a better way to kick off my October videos than to talk about a show that I've talked about a couple times already on this channel, Courage the Cowardly Dog. I decided to review one of the most well-known, if not the most well-known episode of the show. Now let me stop rambling so I can get into my review of the Courage the Cowardly Dog episode, King Ramsey's Curse. The episode starts with two robbers running from the police. They stole a stone tablet and they stopped to bury it so they wouldn't be caught with it. When they try to escape, a mysterious fog covers the road and then a shadow appears and says, Return the slab, or suffer my curse. Then a swarm of locusts comes, we pan over to the Bag family residence, and when we pan back over to the road, the robbers and their car are gone with no trace left behind. The next day, Courage digs up the tablet, brings it in, and when Muriel asks Eustace how old he thinks it is, he has this to say. Well, judging by the markings and the obvious age of the relic, I'd have to say it would be garbage! Immediately after that, he finds out that the slab is actually very valuable. Professor Frith from the Institute of the Pharaoh comes by and asks for the slab back. Eustace asks what his offer is, and the professor says since the Institute is a non-profit organization, he would only be able to give him a tote bag. Eustace has none of that, and doesn't even hesitate to slam the door in his face. Muriel says Eustace should have returned the slab, but of course Eustace doesn't care. That night, the ghost of King Ramses appears and says if the slab is not returned, Eustace, Muriel, and Courage will be cursed with three plagues, with each one being worse than the last. Eustace thinks it's just a scheme from the professor, so he ignores the warning. Naturally, the first plague hits, and the house begins to flood. Courage swims down to the basement and pulls the plug so the water can drain out. Then the second plague hits, which is a grating song that's being played on a loop. While well, grating to the characters, at least, I actually love it. <laughs> Courage goes outside to look for the source of the music and finds a record player behind a rock. He smashes it to pieces and the music stops. The third and final plague hits as a swarm of locusts comes to the house and starts eating it. Courage and Eustace are fighting over the slab while Muriel is frantically baking a cake as a means of stress relief. Eustace finally lets Courage have the slab and Courage throws it outside where King Ramsey's ghost is standing. The locusts stop and Muriel passes out and face plants into her cake. Eustace immediately regrets his decision and goes out to retrieve the slab. He tells the ghost that he's out of plagues, but the locusts come back for Eustace. After that's all said and done, we see Muriel and Courage safe and sound at home watching TV. Professor Frith is on, saying that the slab has been returned, but when it's shown, we see that Eustace has replaced King Ramses on it, and that's how the episode ends. As someone who's not a big fan of the horror genre, I always have to commend Courage the Cowardly Dog for what it brought to the table. Yes, the horror elements were more kid-friendly, at least relatively speaking. However, there were plenty of moments and episodes that frightened us as kids, or at the very least, creeped us out. I don't think there's an episode that encapsulates that better than King Ramsey's Curse. From the first scene of the episode, we get this haunting vibe, and it stays there for just about the whole episode. It's not all seriousness, though, as there is a bit of comic relief here and there to ease the tension and the doom and gloom but it doesn't detract from the situation the Bag family are in. They're in serious danger, and their lives are at risk all because of Eustace's greed, which happens more than once throughout the series, but they never face an evil quite like this again. Well, I don't think I should call King Ramsey's ghost evil. After all, he just wants to be at rest, and that can't happen without the missing slab. 
He's just trying to take back what's his, and he did warn Eustace of the consequences. And while he may not be evil, King Ramsay's ghost sure is terrifying. At least I thought so as a child, and I'm sure I wasn't alone. He was one of very few characters that were animated in CGI, and keep in mind, this episode came out 20 years ago. CGI animation was still rough around the edges at this time, so his character design looks ugly. But at the same time, he's the ghost of an ancient Egyptian pharaoh. Looking ugly and creepy is the point, and for that reason, I think the design, as horrific and stilted as it may look at times, still holds up as it really captures the mood of the episode. Overall, this episode is a frightening yet enjoyable experience that has aged well over the years in my opinion, and it's a perfect episode to watch for the Halloween season. Then again, I could say that about almost any Courage the Cowardly Dog episode. Overall, I give King Ramsey's Curse a 90 out of 100. This only goes to show that you don't necessarily have to be a horror fan to enjoy this kind of stuff, and for those of you who are saying, yeah, but you're only talking about kid-friendly horror, don't worry. I promise you that my next video will be the complete opposite. What's your offer? Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you have any other cartoons, anime, or other animated works that you want me to talk about in the future, please let me know. After all, it's not my channel, it's our channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and feel free to check out my social media pages, audition for an outro, and join the official Cartoon Obsession Discord. The links for all of which are in the description below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all next time. I'm Aku, and thank you for watching Cartoon Obsession. Ah ha 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 ha!